Greetings people, this is Keith in Modesto doing my Let's Play Minecraft series using the Forge Mod Loader and the Dire Wolf 20 Mod Pack. Alright, um, oh, and it's almost dark. Okay, so in between episodes, I I worked on this platform a little bit, not too much, just to get it to w basically do what I was trying to get it to do at the end of the last episode, but more reliably and everything. So, we've got a button here on a some bricks connected to some redstone wire. So um, this is, uh, it just needs to get to here and it, and, it, and the, um, the, the block pusher receives the signal. <clears throat> and I will demonstrate in this a moment. We got the slider here to that after, after this pusher moves the platform for where the slider pushes the pusher back into position. So it's ready to, for the next, the next iteration. Um, and, uh, and that's using redstone torch. Don't remember if I had that in place in the last episode. I might have. Um, anyway, so that's all working. And over here, just to make things easier for testing and getting things ready, I've got another slider. Um, what are they called? Just frame slider. Yeah, they're frame slider. And these are frame pushers because they push frames. I mean, they push other things, but they the, per <clears throat> the primary purpose in the mod is to push frames because you use the frames to build the platforms and uh, stuff. Okay, so uh, this. This just foot pushes. See where the see the arrow is pointing that way. So uh, so this pushes the frame back, so I can I can get things back into position. Let's go sleep through the night here before anything any bad monsters do bad things. And uh, and I guess while I'm back at the base, uh, back in the building here, I'll go ahead and grab some things we want. Um, so and I'll so I'll demonstrate that that's working. The next the next step here is to put into place some annihilation planes. Annihilation planes are something from um, applied energistics. Okay, so to make this a nice little system, we need to have an ME controller, and I already have one in my system. I don't remember why I had one already, but it was already there. <clears throat> and uh, so let's make some annihilation planes. We're going to make, we're going to need, I, I made a crafting, this is the crafting recipe for it. It uses uh, fluix crystals and some iron and an annihilation core. Annihilation core is made with nether quartz, fluix dust, and a logic processor. And a logic processor is made like that and everything. So, um, so I put the, I put the crafting recipe in here already. So we need 20 of them. And it's got, it's got a, it's got some of the stuff it needs already. Some of the stuff it has to make and it'll do that. And it's, some of them it can make right away. It's going to take a little while for it to make all 20. So let's go demonstrate. I'll demonstrate how this, how this thing moves. And we'll go back and get this, this core. These, the annihilation, excuse me, we'll get the annihilation planes. Okay, so push this button and it moves forward. Right? And then once, once this is here, this pushes, put, slides that back. So that's repeatable. Everything's working good. All right, and then after I do that a couple times, and and uh, I can I can move the frame back with this thing, and this is just sitting here in the world, right? So this this uh, we're not, I'm not building this on the frame, although we could, but just right here because this uh, I only once this is all completed, I just need this thing to move forward. I don't need it to move back. Okay, and then I and then I'm, I I cleared out some of these blocks here, and I also built this little frame. This is to, just to show what it is I eventually want this thing to do. I want it to be able to clear uh, a tunnel, which is going to be five wide and four tall. And I also want it to be lined with something. I've not decided what. Um, that is, as this thing, this thing is going to go forward, right? And it's going to be destroying an, uh, all the blocks in front of it in a, <clears throat> in a, in a, in a rectangle that is... Uh, five wide and four tall, um, which is fine. As it's going along, it's going to be lined with stone, whatever's left over, <clears throat> or dirt, or whatever. But every once in a while, it's going to come across. It's going to come. It's going to go through some caves or a ravine. It might even go through water or lava, <clears throat> all kinds of things. 
And at that point, the tunnel, instead of being lined with stone or dirt or whatever, it's going to be lined with air, you know, with ravine or cave, or it actually might be, it might be lined with water, in which case it won't just be lined with water, there'll actually be water flowing into it, especially if at some point, I'm sure we will, go out into the ocean or the sea or whatever, and uh, the top, the top, instead of being topped with a ceiling of stone or dirt or something, will be st lined with a ceiling of water, in which case the water will be just going straight down into the tunnel. All bad things. So in addition to the, um, the front face of this platform being annihilation planes that are eating the blocks in front of it as it goes forward, there's also going to be um, planes on the sides um, and the top and the bottom that are going to be placing blocks. They'll only be pla they'll only have to place blocks when the the space there is empty or full of. Well, this is something to test. Will it place a block if there's water there or lava? I think it will. If it doesn't, that is a big problem. I probably should test that right away, actually, to make sure that that's the case. Because if that doesn't work that way, well, anyway, we will have to come up with other. We will have to come up with a way to solve that problem. We could use, the, there's, a, there's a plane in Applied Energistics that, that does that, the opposite, the opposite of an annihilation plane. So um, I don't remember exactly what it's called, which is why I'm doing this. So there's the annihilation plane. And what is, so the other plane, here it is, formation plane, that makes sense. Okay, the formation plane places blocks. So let's, um, but we're gonna worry about that in a, we're not gonna worry about that right now. We will do the annihilation plane first. Okay, so here's 20. And we also need some cables. And 40, I hope, will be enough. And we need some, we need some of this. Probably you don't need five of them, but and I'll get some smart cables here so we can see what's going on. And you know, we probably should color. We should be able to color these things. Um, and there is, oh, there is, some, there is some item that allows you to paint cables. I don't know what it's called. Paint applicator or something? There we go, color applicator. So, and um, what am I missing? I'm, I need an energy cell. Oh well. Let's try that again. Okay, so I need this. What is missing? the thing wouldn't move around. Oh, I need more fluix dust. Okay, we can make fluix dust. I put in a auto crafting recipe for that. That shouldn't take too long. There's, there we go. Okay, so then we have that. Okay, now we can do that. And this, I guess, needs to be charged up. And while we're here, my pick is low. Okay, that didn't take too long. That's good enough. Okay, and I don't know how to use this thing. Change the color? How do you change the color? Hmm, I guess we'll have to try it out. I wonder if the, it would be nice if there were a tooltip. Stored energy. Color applicator. Well, may, I hope this is the thing that I think it is. I don't know. I don't know how to use it. I'm never really worried about this kind of thing. Okay, did I get all the stuff I need? Oh, I probably need more frames. Or yeah, I I probably need more frames. I definitely need more frames. I need more frames because these annihilation planes have to actually go on something. They're not just going to be 
floating in the air. Give me 30. That's many more than I need. Um, and we've got to uh, modify these frames, at least some of them, with this. Okay, are they done? Did I run out? There we go. Why do I have 32? Oh, probably because it makes multiple. Okay, um, whoops, that's not really what I meant to do. Okay. So these, now, this whole thing is like one off the ground right here. Eventually, after this whole thing is working, I'm gonna I'm gonna blow, I'm gonna go underneath it and and right click on all the bottom sides of this of these um, frame blocks and then lower the whole thing down one so that it'll be, you know, annihilating these blocks right down here. Just just so you know. Okay, so these annihilation planes need to go right here, and these are backwards. Hmm. I wonder, can I turn them around? Right clicking or something, or do I have to? Well, I just take some off. Okay, so I guess we will just go ahead and put them in place this way. Let's see. So, I wonder, of course, will this so I'll put that there. Is it gonna? F oh, cool, that's what I want. Excellent. And I guess we'll leave those there because that'll be a test once everything's going. Okay, which I hope, I don't know if I'll be able to get this all done. I'm rather slow about this, about all these things. So, you know, some people like they do a build like this whole thing all in one episode. I, I'm not really that. Okay, so I need to turn some of these things into hollow covers. So do this. This, this, and that's it. And then I need to take these things and I need a actual crafting table. I wonder if I have one right here. I probably don't. There's one over here, wasn't there? Oh, there was, but I, oh, there's one down here. This will work. Okay, so I need to go like this and turn these into hall covers. Oops. An extra one there, okay. That should be plenty. Okay. Oh, and it's dark. Oh, let's not worry about it. I will just have to destroy anything that tries to attack me. Okay, so these hollow covers are not going to go where I want. Hmm. I want it right there. Okay, we'll use some of these things too, I guess. Really? Hmm, maybe if I put these things here. Okay, so... Um, the, these these frame covers, the frame covers and the frame hollow frame cover block cover whatever they're called, that is eventually to get these things all connected to. Uh, can I? That doesn't work. Oh my gosh. Um, these all need to be you know part of the frame contraption here so they need frame the frames need to be attached in the right spots why isn't this behaving the way I want it to the way I think it should like I should be able to stand there that's on the edge that's what I want oh you know what I should have moved this up one because
deep sigh. I could like practice these builds, get everything worked out and practice getting the builds in place right off camera and then do it all really smooth on camera. But of course that would just take more time. And I don't know if I want to spend that kind of time. Okay, so, so putting these things here is not terribly hard. Five across. I just want to think about, it. they can only do eight at a time. Well, actually, let me just, well, if I do, I'll just do this and then I'll pair back what I don't need. Can I put these, Can they go here? Put them here. Do I have to see? I'm not really sure how that works. I have to put the fr I have to put the frame blocks first, the frame covers first. Let's see if I can get the paint paint applicator to work anyway. I don't know how this thing works. I want what I want to do. Do I have to give it paint? Oh, maybe. Maybe you have to have paint balls in your inventory. Matter balls? I have to use matter balls? I have to get matter balls to get paint? No wonder I've never done this. Okay. Well, okay, maybe what we'll do is I'll make, I'll, I'll set up a thing for making matter balls. <laughs> matter balls, that's kind of a funny thing to say. Uh, before the timer goes off, maybe, and I will play with how to use the paint applicator and, and how these covers are gonna work, or, or you know, refresh my memory. I've never used these frames covers before in this, in uh, Funky Locomotion. I think I've said that already, so I'm not really sure how um, oops, I misspelled. Okay. Um, okay, so how do I make matter balls? I really have to have matter balls probably. That's, that's crummy. Paint should not be so hard to make. Um, uh, it's not going to tell me how to make matter balls. I have to just remember that on my own. I think it's using the con um, condenser. What's it called? I don't know where it's called. Some block. Let's see. Matter. Maybe it's called matter condenser. Uh, maybe the singularity. You also use the sing use the same thing to make the singularity. Maybe that'll tell me. Matter condenser. I need flux dust. Yes, I do. What? Oh, I need more flux crystals. You're kidding me. I I can make one though. I'll have to get more. I have to get more flux crystals in between. I have lots of pure. Hmm. Okay. Um. So, oh yeah, I was gonna make a matter condenser. Okay, so this needs power. I don't think it needs to be connected to the network. Let's see if it works. Is it getting power? Oh, I might not be able to get it this way. Um, so let's put it well, we'll sign it found out, found out in a moment. Do it. Does it need? Does it take up a channel? No stored energy there either. Huh? 
What happened to what, I thought I why did I get rid of this? This you need this. I wanna see that this works. Really? Maybe that doesn't connect that way, huh? Even though it's a, an applied energistics block, it has to get energy. Maybe it'll get it it'll get it right here. Where's it at? one of gotta be faster okay so if this were getting energy and I put oh I think I need a memory cell yeah they just oh there we go So put this in my hand. I'm right click. Okay, now that. Okay. This is, I'm just try just trying to see if this thing actually works. There we go. Okay. So that has some stuff in it. I can't tell how much stuff it has in it, but okay, so when it gets, uh, I wonder, does this need energy at all? Uh, okay, so I'm gonna, I would think it would need energy, but maybe I'm wrong. I think I lost what was in there. Oh. Oh, it doesn't make the matter balls until it has enough energy. Okay. But it doesn't have it doesn't need power. Okay. Well, okay. Let me see how much time I have. I this this needs to have stuff. You can put whatever. It doesn't have to be cobblestone. It could be anything. But of course, cobblestone is cheap. Um, so why not use that? And I, could, I can get cobblestone from here, of course. And there's my timer. Um, so after it's gotten enough energy, I guess it'll make one matter ball and it'll be right there. Let's quickly see if I can get... Um, you know what? I should just take it out of here because I have this ready available to me instead of trying to fight with the timer. Okay, so I'm uh, getting lag or something. Okay, so I put this here. Uh, that's not gonna, it's not gonna take too much. So I think when it gets to the top, it's gonna, there, we got a matter ball. There we got two. Okay, so in between episodes, I'm going to, uh, I'll put this in another spot and um, And and have it hooked up so that it's um, like I'll probably put it right here. I'll go ahead and put it right there right now. And is there anything cables here? No. I'll put it right here. Okay. And put the memory there. Put the memory back in. And we'll take some cables. And the, the cables don't connect. Oh, well, so I'll, I'll just have to use a, oh, there's um, there's some cabling on inside of here, I guess. So I don't need that. Okay, so I guess I need an uh, import bus to get the matter balls in. Whoops. That'll go 
there. And I guess did it, well, I don't suppose I can put this back. No, I can't. So is it working? Is that part working? I've got too much stuff in my inventory. I put these here. My question is, will the matter ball automatically be sucked into the system? No. Uh, there's no channel there. There should be channels available. That's blue. That is black. I don't know why you would not. I don't know why you would be. Oh, it's not on. Okay. That's why. Is it it still didn't import it. Oh, there it did. It did. Okay, cool. Okay, so I obviously uh, the reason for that is this this little thing here kind of like toggles this um on and off so that these things aren't on all the time. Why oh that fell in there. Um because they use up a lot of energy. So I actually need to bring the cable down or something instead of connecting right there. That's not going to work. Um, okay, so and now I just need to be able to export cobble into there. I'll do that. I'll do that off camera because this is taking enough time already. Um, and I will show that at the beginning of the next episode. And I'll, you know, so I'll have a good supply of paintball of matter balls. We can make paintballs out of those with those, and then start painting cables. Okay, so um, sorry, this is going to take a while. I will. I will. I will refresh my memory about funky locomotion and cables and everything a little bit too so I can try to get things done without derping up so much. Um, this has been Keith Amenesto playing Modern Minecraft. Thank you for watching. I hope that you have a fantastic day.